What's up, Gary? What's up, Coach Jay? Yeah, all is good, man. All is good. Appreciate you uh, bringing me on right now, even though somewhere between yesterday and today, I lost my wallet. And I, <laughs> I, yeah, I'm freaking out. But I said to myself, you know what? ABC, adversity builds character. 100%. So, um, Did you, you know, leave I, a house? I, yeah, I went, I went somewhere. Um, <laughs> I like, had to drop something. I, yeah, no, I went to the post office. And it was closed because I totally forgot yesterday was a holiday here. I'm, I'm in Toronto, Canada, and it was a holiday. And uh, I got a drink. I got some, <laughs> some, some snacks. And between the post office, uh, which is at the local drugstore, and my house, I, I lost it. So, but wait, if you, got, if you got some drinks and snacks, you paid for that. I, I paid for it. it so yeah. So I don't know if I dropped it on the way to back to the car or something. Who knows? Well, you're going to go back I'll, and check, right? Yeah, yeah. I'll figure it out then, man. Listen, adversity builds character. thousand percent. I've, I've been listening for you for some uh, some time now. Um, you helped me through some darkest moments. Um, I found you through uh, Evan um, Carmichael on his YouTube. And you said some powerful stuff there. And I just, from that day on, I just kept following. I kept following everybody that's been on the show. I kept following and just asking them questions. And it's interesting because we're roughly the same age. I'm 43. I got two young, two young girls. And this moment is a defining moment. And like, if I get choked up, it's because there are kids like myself. There are parents like myself that don't know where to turn at times. And there are moments where you have to write that goal down. You got to set steps in the right direction and know that you're going to you're going to get there you got to get a lot of no's like you told that young man i got a lot of no's because i'm a i'm an adult with adhd and i did not let that define me i'm not letting that define my that that's my it's my it's, moment coach Shea, it's often the strength it is but it, it takes a lot of you know you know the game in between the noggin right like it takes a lot of of uh, willing yourself to want to get to that next level and you know what you have to do to get there. So my, my question to you would be Gary is I've accomplished a lot of things in my life because I took a lot of no's and you know, you said do TikTok, do all these platforms. I literally told my Instagram following, which wasn't big and my clientele that I'm starting this new new initiative, which is called Gym Class with Coach J. It's on on your your screen there. Because the my the goal has to be more important than the role. John C. Maxwell said that that my goal in life has to be more important than my role as a person. And I think that's what you're doing. And if there's kids out there that think, oh, I'm never going to get onto Gary V. This is a kid that took 20 plus years to get onto Gary V. Right now, <laughs> and I'm doing it honestly, Gary. I'm doing it for them. I'm doing it for all the parents that don't know where to turn when their kids are getting into trouble or getting into, into drugs and stuff like that because I'm on a mission, Gary. With or without you, Gary, make sure I you do your you. push-ups today, by the way. I will, I tell bro, Dustin I promise. every day. I promise. I tell, yeah, I tell Dustin every day, ask him. I, I message him every day, say, make sure you do your workouts. And... My message is to, there are a lot of people that are going to be in COVID and we're in complete lockdown right now that don't have an outlet and the gym is outlet. Gary, I've been in by myself in this gym, no members, nobody by myself for 10 weeks. And I've been doing things online and trying to get the message out there. My you. question, I wrote it down. Where do I take my business that has no money into something special that has mass impact? Well, it's just execution. I mean, like, you know, you'll appreciate this. Like, you know, it's it's step by step. Like, first, you've got to figure out how to monetize so that you can be self-efficient, right? You know, that, so that if you don't build a foundation financially that allows you to do it in perpetuity, it's going to be hard to have the kind of impact that I think you've created in your mind and or you realize that impact doesn't need a physical or financial execution. Impact can actually be done for free on things called the internet, on things yeah. called social networks. So it really depends on how you want to define it. You know, I'm making mass impact being Gary V, and it's a, not a monetizable event for me. I have my other Gary Vaynerchuk life where I run my businesses. 
Correct. And and I don't have an institute. I don't have an island. I don't have a, a course. I don't have any structure around it. What I have is my thoughts and my aspirations to leave a, a, a you know a humanity footprint, as I'm calling it in my mind. The last 24 hours. Yeah. And and that is and that is happening on a on a daily basis across every platform because I'm passionate about leaving, uh, you know, that impact more so than you know, taking that impact and turning it into a monetizable event. On the flip side, it's very okay to, you know, turn it into a monetizable event. So, this is true. Sometimes I dream about like, you know what? I'm going to just buy a fucking mountain somewhere and carve into the fucking mountain and be like this Yoda character and like people are just going to come and I'm just yeah. going to chill in there and do tea with Gary Vee fucking mountain style and that's going to be my business. That's going to actually, I'm not going to do it for free. It's going to be a business. And other times I think it's, I'm going to do it for free. So what I'm saying, why I'm telling you that story, because it's run through my mind to, in that way is it's okay to turn it into a business. You just have to realize, are you in it for the impact or are you in it for the financial, uh, you know, uh, ramifications or is it both? All of it's all good. All of it's all good. But to, to answer your question, Coach A, you got to go a, a step higher and say, you know, if you want to make a global impact, like you said, well then, then you know the reality is you don't need it to be in the form of a, a, a financial success execution. You can just do it through the words and your passion. Um, on the flip side, um, you you easily can. I think the way you do that is you start creating as much brand as possible and create a virtual ecosystem. So it's not just limited to the Toronto area. Right. You know, both Mike Vacanti and Jordan Syatt, both my trainers, have made significant money training people virtually, doing meal plans and doing virtual workouts. I, you know, today at six thirty, I'll do a virtual workout with Mike. I like how you said do your pushups today. I canceled this morning because I felt a little, <laughs> a little like lethargic, which is rare. But yeah, I knew it was a leg day. Hey, hey! I actually, like Sarah in our in our chat group today was leg day too. Today's shoulders and abs Le and conditioning for us. So. so leg day is a beast. So I wanted to have more energy and have more strength because those fucking Bulgarian split squats <laughs> fucked me up. So so uh, so I pushed it to the afternoon. But nonetheless, brother, I think it's I think it's virtual virtual selling. I think that's I think that gives you scale. Okay, my 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 last thing, Gary and 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 I really appreciate you taking my call is that I just want that message to go out to anybody that is watching this, that you guys have to set goals because if I didn't set that goal when I was 20, 23, 33, and now 43, this wouldn't be possible. You got to set goals. You got to believe in yourself. You got to take a the lot second of notes. part, the second part, the set goals. I'm with you. It's, it's the belief when you, you yeah. know, People set goals, but they don't believe they're going to achieve them. And then they become jails. I'm going to be a famous singer, but they don't actually believe it. Yeah. And then it becomes a convoluted coach. Jay, a lot of people have real bad relationships with their goals Yeah. because of the second part. It's about actually not only believing in yourself, it's actually like a little tweak. It's accepting yourself. Yeah. yeah. And it's not, and, and, and in accepting yourself, there's a key other component. Don't put other people on pedestals. You know, I watch all these young girls look at like very pretty girls on Instagram and put them on pedestals. And, and you know, everybody's got different bone structure and different like, like the day we were all born different. Like you're not gonna necessarily be able to achieve certain things because of like what God gave you. And, but on the flip side, you're fucking, you're, you have the potential to be one of the great poets of all time. But because you wanna be like a hot one on fucking, on, on TikTok, you like suppress your actually what you've been given because you put somebody else on a pedestal because you're actually insecure and you're looking for validation from, you know, e-boys on TikTok. It's just fucked up. Right. We, need, we, need, we need one, you know, setting goals is imperative. I love that. I'm with you. But we need, we need, to, we need to build an entire generation of self-esteem of self -esteem building, of acceptance. Like, God, there's so many things I wish I was better at. But I but that was even a difficult sentence for me to deploy because I've tuned out that feeling since I was like fucking 10. Right. Right. Wishing oh. means shit. Like, so like, yes, goals, but let's have nice relationships with goals, which goes back to a bigger perspective, which is fucking like <laughs> there's nobody on earth like you. And if you actually take that as a positive and really try to figure out what the fuck you got. 
real shit happens. 100%. You know, <laughs> notice, notice how you and I took, a, you know, ADHD and uh, I can't even say it, AD, D and ADHD. All that like ADHD, like, yeah. I, I just know it's a gift. But if your parents and your teachers and doctors and society tell you it's a stigma, you become insecure. 100%. But if you're told it's fucking amazing, look at who's that supermodel who's got the skin condition, right? You know, you know who I'm talking about? I'm not too sure. So there's a supermodel. She's got a skin condition where she's like, you know, you know, got like patches, like, yeah. and like, you know, super famous. I'm just like, I don't pay attention to that world. But like, you know, I know, I know if I saw her, like she, somebody just put her name in here. I think I saw, um, you know, like Win- Winnie Harlow. That's right. So, you know, that look could have been considered not beautiful, but right. she in her inner soul made it beautiful. Now the world thinks it's beautiful. Like, look at what look at what's considered good looking now. When I was growing up, Kate Moss. <laughs> you know, when yeah. I was a teenager, you had to look like Kate Moss to be hot. Like, right. like that is not the look now. No. You know, no. and uh. so like you know things change, but like what what doesn't change is you loving yourself or you hating yourself. And I just fucking wanna. I just want to get everybody to love themselves. Period. End of story. Because the second they do, they start leaning into weird shit. Nerd culture? Are you kidding me? We're the same age, right? You weren't right. allowed to like comic books and fucking Pokemon and nerd shit. Now the fucking yeah. coolest uh, hip hop artists in the world rock fucking Dragon Ball Z shit. Like, are yeah, you fucking yeah. kidding me? Like, yeah, yeah. making making millions off of it now. Making so, millions, right? So that's where I'm. Hey, at, Gary, man. man, listen. There's a whole bunch of guests that that need to hear their voice, and I want them to get their time. I we'll appreciate you, it. If you come to Toronto, man, hit me up for a workout. I will, bro. Hey, start following yeah. me, man. So I got you. Get, I, I can send you these workouts. I will. And 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 much love to you, man, and all the kids out there, all the parents. Keep keep fighting the good fight, man. Gym class with Coach Jay. I'm your guy. And peace <laughs> out from Coach Jay, man. Peace out, Coach Jay. All right, Gary. Class. Gym class heroes. I miss them. All right, Coach Jay, you got the follow. I'm your 131st follow. Watch this. Let's throw it back up. Let's throw it back up, Dustin. Let's do a follow storm. Everybody in the Vayner Nation watching Tea with Gary V. let's do a follow storm. Let's fucking make, I think we all can agree that Coach Jay is a sweet soul. Let's just take one minute right now, even if you're watching me on a phone, you can step away for a second. Let's do a massive follow storm. Let's do a follow bomb, whatever we're going to call it. You know, let's just blitz them. Let's just blitz him. Let's blitz him. He's up to 154. I expect to check this in a second, and I expect this to be at 700. Let's blow this guy away. Let's make him super happy. He's worth it. He's a good dude. Let's keep it going. 